Hi, my name is Kambiz Musaviza, the author of 38 books, and I want to speak about economic recessions and what is an economic recession. By definition, an economic recession is under 3% GDP growth. Okay, If you have under 3% annual GDP growth, that is considered economic recession. Okay, So in an economic recession, you'll usually see uh, you know, people being laid off, uh, weak job numbers, um, you'll see uh, inflation, okay, and uh, these are all things that are obviously being witnessed right now, and you'll see at any time when there's an economic recession, domestic or global, you're going to see things like inflation, you're going to see weak job numbers, you're going to see uh, difficulty in job hiring, difficulty in finding uh, candidates, and uh, you know th this is one of the effects of a economic recession. And again, an economic recession, by definition, is under three percent GDP growth. Uh, and under three percent GDP growth means you have a uh, somewhat stagnant economy that's moving very slow and um, obviously when you have a large size economy even one percent or two percent or three percent does make a difference but we're looking at numbers and numbers do matter and the numbers say and in history has shown that under three percent gdp growth is in is an economic recession and that means businesses are having trouble hiring that means uh, people are having trouble finding jobs. That means uh, sales have slowed down in comparison to previous year, right? Just you know, looking at 2020 numbers in comparison to 2019, for example, right? You can see that there was a 20% drop or more in sales in a lot of companies. So, again, um, you know, there are various factors that that play into this, but when you're talking about under 3% GDP growth, by definition, by an economist's definition, you're talking about an economic recession, right? And under 3% GDP growth, that's, that's what you're facing here, right? And under 3% GDP growth means that companies are having trouble hiring. That means that people are having trouble finding jobs. That means there are there is a large number of unemployed. Um, so, you know, various other factors could add into it as well that even make it worse, such as supply chain factors and, uh, you know, natural disasters and, and uh, you know, incidents like, like that, right? Those can affect it as well, right? But we're talking about GDP growth, right? And we're talking about an economic recession. What is an economic recession, you know? You can use the word, you know, contraction or, you know, words like that, but just an economic recession is an economic recession. You have under 3% GDP growth, right? Um, it's considerably less, you know, obviously in comparison to a successful year where you may have 5% to 7% GDP growth, right? So, you know, 3% GDP growth and under, uh, are, are all signs of an economy that uh, does have trouble, it is in trouble, right? And under 3% GDP growth doesn't make it very attractive for investors and uh, you know individuals that want to come put money in those industries and sectors and so forth to want to move forward, right? An economic recession makes people hit the brakes. And say, hey, maybe I need to think twice before I move forward with this investment. Maybe I need to think twice before I buy the new home. Maybe I need to think twice before I buy the new car. And so forth. So it slows down purchasing because people go into a saving mode, right? Because they don't know what the future holds. So an economic recession has uh, many implications and repercussions that are felt throughout the entire economic system. And that's what it is. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Please share this video. Please comment below. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching.